Hello everyone, once again this is Sir O, your teacher in this session. Welcome na welcome po kayo sa aking munting classroom. At syempre kung bago lang po kayo dito, pwede nyo pong bisitahin ang aking YouTube channel na Sir O at pwede nyo mapuntahan ang ating video section upang makita nyo po ang lahat ng mga video tutorial ko pong nagawa lalong lalo na para makatulong po sa inyong pag-aaral. At huwag nyo na rin pong kalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking channel, free po ang pag-subscribe, wala pong bayad. I will really appreciate po kasi malaking tulong po yon sa akin. Kalimbangin nyo na din po yung ating notification bell, click all para po ma-update kayo sa mga susunod ko pang mga tutorial. So in this session, what we are going to talk is factoring, especially factoring a perfect square trinomial. So before we could understand or appreciate perfect square trinomial, let us first investigate a trinomial. Let's say x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now in this trinomial, if you notice, the first term and the last term are perfect square. Why they are perfect square? Because we can find their square roots. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. Now, if you notice, if we are going to multiply the square root of the first term, which is x and 5 by 2, the result is the middle term. So, actually, if these two conditions are true, then this is a perfect square trinomial. Again, I will repeat the two conditions. The first term and the last term should be a perfect square. The second condition, if you multiply the square root of the first term, which is x, and the square root of the last term, which is 5, by 2, the product is always the middle term. So if these two conditions are true, then that is a perfect square trinomial. So if a trinomial is a perfect square, so we can simply factor this trinomial as x plus 5 raised to the power of 2. What did we do? We just have to get the square root of the first term, which is x, and the square root of the last term, which is 5. And we make use of the sign of the middle term raised to the power of 2. And this would be the factored form. So let us have an example. We are asked to factor m squared plus 2m plus 1. So again, let's recall the two conditions. The first condition is the first and the last term should be a perfect square. So m squared is a perfect square because the square root of this is m. 1 is a perfect square because the square root of 1 is 1. The second condition. If you multiply the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term by 2, it should be the middle term. And indeed, the product is the middle term. So therefore, this example number 1 is a perfect square. So the factors of this are, we make use of the sign of the middle term. And the square root of m squared is m. And the square root of 1 is, of course, 1. So this would be the factored form of question number 1. Question number 2. So again, the two conditions must be true. If you are going to investigate this one, the product of the square root of the first and the square root of the last term by 2, the product is always the middle term. So therefore, this is a perfect square. And the factor of this are why are? Because there are two factors actually of the same factors. We'll make use of the sign of the middle term, which is negative. Again, whatever is the sign in the middle term would be the sign also in our factor. The square root of 16a squared is, of course, 4a. And the square root of 49 is 7. This would be the factored form 
of question number two. So if you have some questions, I will be happy to answer them. Just write it in the comment section. Question number three. Again, we are asked to factor this out. So if you notice, the two conditions of perfect square trinomial are true. So therefore, the factor of this, R, will make use of the sign of the middle term, which is positive. And the square root of 9k squared is 3k. And the square root of 16p squared is 4p. And again, this would be the factored form. Question number four. We are asked to factor this kind of trinomial. So if you are going to check this one with the two condition of a perfect square trinomial, that is true again. So the factored form R, so the sign of the middle term is negative. So it should be negative. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. And again, this would be our factored form. Question number 5. Ah, oh, yes. I know, I know. It seems very difficult. But again, do not worry, guys. This is zero. I will do everything to make this easy for you. So again, uh, if you are going to factor this out, let us check first if the given trinomial is a perfect square. So the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x squared is x. So that is why it's 1 third x. Here, the square root of the last term is 1 half y. The square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of y squared is y. So again, if we multiply the square root of the first term, which is one third x, and the square root of the last term, which is one half y, by two, the product should be the middle term. So if you notice, the product is the middle term. Oh, oops, there is a coefficient, which is two. So if you notice, actually, guys, we can cancel that out. So what is left is one third x y, which is the middle term. So this is a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, the factors of this are 1 third x, which is the square root of 1 9 x squared, and the square root of 1 fourth y squared is 1 half y raised to the power of 2. So this will be the factored form. So guys, if you find this video tutorial very helpful to you, please give a thumbs up. And kindly share this for others, please. For your friends, relatives, classmates, schoolmates, for them also to learn what you have done in this session. And please, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that one. And please click that notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. Thank you so much.